No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going over a one-play touchdown. Specifically, the one-play touchdown that I talked about in my last Madden Academy video. And I believe that this is one of the best, if not the best, one play touchdown in the game one play touchdowns this year especially against cover three have been a lot more inconsistent in years past so because of that i haven't been running very many one play touchdowns but once i actually started hopping in the lab i realized that this one is one of the more consistent ones and if you guys were in my stream or watched the mad academy video you see you can hit this very very consistently on just about every coverage the reason i feel like this one is so good is because it works great against all zone coverages but it also works great against man coverage and additionally there are other routes on the field where if the one play touchdown isn't open there are man beating routes and zone beating routes so there's going to be receiver open just about every time now as always before we get into the play we're going to go over the best and the worst comment of the day the best comment of the day coming from andy light who said one play touchdowns are the best finish a drive in 15 seconds just like sex over before they know it and i'm the only one that's happy at the end i can tell you've disappointed a lot of women in your lifetime andy the worst comment of the day coming from anthony stark who said my uncle has unfakeable every time i try to juke him it doesn't work and I understand you're trying to hop on the the uncle meme Anthony but that punchline gotta be better you gotta be better Anthony hopping into the play you guys already know if you've been watching my videos I run the New England Patriots playbook I feel like it's the most versatile and the best playbook in the game right now and I'm actually gonna be dropping a lot of mini schemes out of that playbook and then eventually making an ebook that you guys can buy but the play that I'm going to be running is at a gun split close, and I'm going to be using the Chiefs. And I'm using the Chiefs because they have Tyree Kill and Patrick Mahomes. One is very fast, one has a huge arm, and both are very good for one-play touchdowns. As far as personnel goes, as always with one-play touchdowns, your quarterback, you want somebody with a big arm in regs. Patrick Mahomes is probably the best bet for that. In Mutt, you got so many options. Josh Allen, Dan Marino, Michael Vick. There's so many you guys can choose from. The new Brett Favre, they get like 98 throw power, so any of those guys will do. If they have set feet lead or gun slinger it's even better and then as for receiver you're just going to want speed speed is the number one thing Tyree Kill is the perfect person for this and then Sammy Watkins obviously not as fast but he can do as well uh, depending on what side you run it to is going to determine which receiver is getting the ball so for best results just have two fast receivers if you're going to run gun split close the two guys on the outside uh, are going to be it's going to be necessary that they're fast so we are running gun split close this is a formation i ran a lot last year and the play is x drag trail now depending on what formation they come out in there's a way to beat it no matter what whether it's cover two cover three cover four man coverage you name it this play will be able to beat it so we're gonna call x drag trail and then we're gonna start out on defense going against a cover three so just a regular cover three sky so anytime you're running a one play touchdown against a cover three you're gonna want to run it into the boundary so this is the stock play you see we're on the right hash and the person that's going to get open is Watkins on the deep post so I want that deep post going from the wide side of the field to the short side so we're gonna have to flip the play here to get Tyree kill running the post to the short side and this play is very very simple you see on defense we're running against a cover three pre-snap if I was online I would assume this is a cover three because there's one high safety so anytime there's a single high safety you know it's either a cover one or a cover three so this case I know it's cover three but all you gotta do is motion over the tight end who's on a corner route or it's a post that turns into a corner and then it's gonna get wide open you see Tyree kill right there just absolutely smoking it uh, a great throw by Mahomes. I actually thought that was gonna be overthrown but you see it's wide open and this year that's tough to do because cover three beaters are, have been very inconsistent for me so far uh, but once again just gonna flip the play so I'm running from the wide side to the short side there's a single high safety so I assume that that is a cover three and if I want to beat cover three just motion this guy over hike it you don't have to roll out but you can if you want and you see it is just butt naked open especially when you got this guy with the speed like Tyree kill it's too easy very quickly I'll go into the replay to show you so the reason it works is this motion from Kelsey originally it was a post route you motion him over it becomes a corner when he goes up he runs the corner and this cornerback is now occupied by Kelsey and because of that he doesn't notice the deep post coming behind him and once Tyree kill crosses the face of the safety the safety obviously you can see he's turning his hips getting back to the middle of the field and that's gonna leave Tyreek wide open 
over here and it's game over at that point so the thing that makes this one play touchdown better than your average cover three beaters usually when you have a cover three beater you have like a corner route and a post and nothing really else on this play you got a wheel route from your running back you got an angle route from your other running back and you got a drag and there's so much commotion in the middle of the field that the user usually doesn't notice the deep post and that's what makes it so good is because your typical cover three beater a lot of times a good user can see it coming and just run with it or you know stop it in some way or another on this play there's so much going on that that becomes incredibly difficult to locate the deep post and then run with it and then additionally if they do run with it you got a million other routes on the field so i'll run it for you and show you that any of these other routes are gonna be good check downs if the one play touchdown is not open and like any one play touchdown do not force it the easiest read is going to be this this uh drag right there and the wheel route kind of acts like an extra blocker uh when you throw the drag so once again don't force the one play touchdown um you guys can run this as many times as you want but as long as you're not you know just forcing it every play it will be successful once you start forcing it and your opponent can obviously catch on and just see you running the same play over and over again then it becomes easier to stop but the, the route I really like is that angle route from the running back the angle route right this year is probably the best route in the game and the main reason is that is because it's so good against man coverage so speaking of man coverage that is gonna segue us into our next coverage which is man coverage and this is what you're gonna see online almost every single game so what people are gonna do is they're gonna press and they're going to put their safeties in like curl flats or, or hard flats or something like that. And, you know, that's going to essentially bag most things. You're going to use her over the middle of the field. But the good thing about this one play touchdown, and it's the same thing I mentioned last time, is that almost all of these routes beat man coverage. The only one that doesn't is the wheel. And half the time, they're not even going to man up the running back. So overall, this play is even better against man coverage. Even if they have two high safeties still, this can still be a one play touchdown. All you got to do is motion Tyree kill out. So in this case, you see there's two high safeties. Uh, I'm going to assume it's either two man under or cover two or cover four. And then all you got to do is motion out Tyree Kill. And he's going to beat his man on this post. And he's going to split the safety. So if we can get the time, we're just going to roll out here. See Tyree Kill beats his man. Just pass lead that up. And he's going to split those safeties for a one play touchdown against man coverage. Now let's say they got one step ahead or your receiver isn't good enough. You know, he might not beat man coverage every time. But that's why I said it's great that this play has so many other man beaters on the field. So if we just hike it again, you're going to see his angle route from the running back. That is the best one that I like. Just over the middle. He's going to beat his man every single time. The angle route from a running back is a man destroyer. Additionally, that post route from Kelsey over the middle is great. And then a drag. You can never go wrong with a drag. Almost all the time, a drag is going to beat uh, man coverage. So once again, we're just going to run this. And you're going to see also Kelsey on that post is going to get open. So... Obviously, if they have like one step ahead and way better players than you, your guy's probably not going to beat man on a lot of these. But that's when you rely on the halfback angle route. And then if you have a mobile quarterback, you're going to have to scramble with him as well. But overall, if you got a good receiver, that post route on the outside is going to beat their man and get deep. Now, the next coverage we're going to look at is a cover four. And this one is a little trickier to beat. And you can still get a one play touchdown with that post. But it's going to be a little bit more finicky. So I am going to go over the details right now. Extract trail once again. And to beat this, you're going to want to go from the short side of the field to the wide side. So once again, I'm on the right hash. This time, I'm going to be going from the right side, the short side, to the wide side. And all you got to do is motion this post out. And just same as you did with a cover two man. And if you just wait, you're going to see he just splits those safeties once again. Good throw from uh, Mahomes and Watkins. Even though Watkins isn't as fast, doesn't have as high deep route running. He is still getting open. That just goes to show it's going to be pretty much beat it pretty much every time. So once again, you're going to go from the short side to the wide side. All you got to do is motion out the post. And then I'll show you in the replay why it's working once again. It's because the short post from Kelsey is going to actually hold that safety. And then it's going to allow Watkins to get right behind him and get open. So I'm going to show you in the replay. It's this post from Kelsey that kind of you're going to see it, it, it makes this zone start to, to play down and play that post. He like notices the post and plays over here. And then that allows the deep post from Watkins to just get right behind him, really. And all you got to do is pass lead away from the other safety, and you should be good to go. So let's say your opponent's been sitting in cover two all game. Here we're in a stock cover two. And if they run a deep third right here, it is very difficult to beat this for a one-play touchdown or get, you know, big yardage on it because it's a very, it's a very conservative defense. You're going to have to take your underneath. But if you notice, on top of the cloud flat and underneath the deep half on the left there is a little weak spot in a cover two now Mahomes is a righty so I'd recommend running this to your quarterback's dominant hand so you're gonna want to run it let me move the ball here 
How do I fucking move the ball? There we go. I'm going to go in the left hash. You're going to want to run it to the wide side of the field. So if I have a right-handed quarterback, I'm, I'm going to want the wide side on the right. Now we're going to flip the play here. And how we're going to attack this is we're going to put circle the lone receiver on a streak. And then we're going to motion over the skinny post. Against a cover three, if you remember, we motioned over Kelsey on the shorter post. This time we're motioning over the skinny post. And I, I'm sure you can see where this is going. But square is going to fall in line right there. And if you can roll out, you see he gets wide open. Wide open. Now, I, I that was a bad pass lead. He still was open enough to catch that. But you're going to want to actually pass lead that towards the sideline just to be safe. So we're going to flip that play again. So put that lone receiver on a streak. Motion over the skinny post. And again, you just look at the area you're attacking. It's that soft spot in a cover two behind the cloud flat. And you see, if I pass lead a little bit more to the sideline, he's a little, it's a little safer of a throw. He's not going to get hit. And he, he's just so open. And almost every time, a user, a user's never going to run to that part of the field either. A user is going to run back there. And the great thing about this is it gets behind 30 yard flats because it's such a deep throw. This gets behind literally everything. You just got to wait. If you get hit, you get hit. Fuck it. Fuck it. But one more time just for good measure. Again, a cover two. I'm going to want to attack that area behind the cloud flat. To do that, you want to streak from Watkins to hold that safety high. And then motion over that that uh, skinny post route. Turns into a skinny corner route. Roll out. Wait, wait, wait. The longer you wait, the more open it's going to get. And you see, that was about a 40-yard throw. Uh, and, and it was wide open. So that works every time. And also, as I said in the last plays, the other routes are great on this as well. The angle route, the drag. You have so many options that don't force that pass. If they start to cover it, you know, don't force it. There's so many other things you can throw to to keep them honest. Like throw your drag, throw your angle, throw your short post. You'll be good, man. It's a beautiful play. That is going to do it for this play. I tried to keep it as short and sweet as I could. If you guys aren't running the Patriots playbook already, I highly recommend it. There are so many good formations. Trips tight end, gun split close, single back ace close, gun ace slot. There's so many. You trips. There's a million. It's so good. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, boys, hit the subscribe button. 75% of my viewers are not subscribed. So do me a favor. You don't want to miss a video, boys. Just, just hit the subscribe button. But anyways, guys, expect episode one of the Weekend League recap coming tomorrow morning. And expect a stream tomorrow as well as we try to finish out Weekend League. We're currently 10-0, so things are going good. I'll be seeing you boys very soon.